Good evening, everybody. It is 9.40 p.m. in the Big Bear Lake, California area, and we are getting some snow now. So we're gonna drive into Upper Moon Ridge and see what's going on up there. Hey, if you guys like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. Um, and also, I wanted to talk to you guys on this drive about what I was thinking about doing for more giveaways and stuff like that to try and help them be bigger and better. So let's do this. It was nice giving away those three $50 gift cards. It was supposed to be two, but I hope you guys liked the surprise. That felt really, really good doing that for you guys. But yeah, we're getting some snow. It's funny because an hour ago it showed that we weren't supposed to get anything. There was absolutely nothing on the radar. So this is, this is nice. I'm glad I uh, was staring out the window, just wishing we would get some snow. So yeah, we're gonna go to Upper Moon Ridge and see about getting a little bit more of this snow. We're getting some snow in the street, as you can see. It's just gonna be a very light dusting tonight. But this is what I do, you guys, anytime we get any weather. This is what I do. All right. We're gonna do the Upper Moon Ridge tour. Hope you guys are having a great evening. It looks like uh, we've got some more snow coming a week from Tuesday. I know that's uh, not too set in stone, but it's been saying that all day and nothing's changed. Usually when it's that far out, it changes from some snow to like no snow to possibly a lot of snow and just keeps on changing, but there's, it hasn't, it hasn't changed at all. So that's a, that's a good sign. We're, we should get some dustings a week from tomorrow. And then uh, Tuesday, maybe three to five inches of snow. Not this coming Tuesday, the following. See if I can get my phone. Get get the map here. Right, you know what? Here, I'll I'll just use this map because we don't need to use the other map. It's fine. Okay, so we are now on a street. We just came up a street. Oh my gosh, what's it called? It's called Silver Tip, and now we just turn right on Villa Grove. But we're gonna go to Villa Grove up at the top. So we're gonna turn right here on Butte. Look at how white this is getting, and Butte can be a pretty dangerous road to drive up and down when there's ice and snow on it you guys take a look what we got going on here 31 oh coyote hey buddy i'm not gonna hit him don't worry i just want to follow him for a moment hey buddy all right yeah it can be pretty dangerous coming up here temperature's gonna fall big time when we started, when I started the car, it said 30, 37, but I knew it was, it was gonna drop. That was 30. Let's see here, where are we at? There we are. Oh, I love this. It's so nice. So we're on Butte, now we're gonna turn left onto a street called Mira, M-I-R-A, and then a right on Villa Grove. And we're gonna take Villa Grove all the way around, all the way around Upper Moon Ridge. Let's do it. Once again, I hope you guys are having a great night. So check it out, this is what my idea was. Of course, I enjoy getting those donations and stuff, but I was thinking maybe maybe we could all, for the people who want to um, contribute more, maybe instead of always giving me donations, maybe people could like send something and then have it specifically for like a monthly giveaway on the channel. So maybe if like 20 different people send 20 bucks or 50 bucks, then we can add that all up and give that away at the end of the month to a lucky recipient. So as I said, it's not going to me type of thing, but it would, it would be something to really give back a lot more to you guys. I'm gonna start doing these 
these giveaways on a, on a monthly basis, I'm hoping, um, and frequently, because uh, it feels really good. It feels really good giving back to you guys. You guys are so incredibly awesome, such close friends. Um, I have so much love in my heart for you guys, and it, it, just, it just feels great doing that for you guys. Today was a wonderful day because of that. And so, yeah, so I was thinking if, if there were a bunch of people who, who, you know, wanted to send money in um, and keep in, like, a, a separate account that does not, like, go to me and my needs, but, for instance, let's say we, like, come up with, like, 600 bucks for the month or, like, 700 bucks, and it's there, most, most of the donations, say, for the channel and for the monthly giveaway or, like, something like that. I mean, that would, that would be something freaking awesome. That would be something freaking totally awesome. And uh, we, could, we could do a lot more of those giveaways, plus what I can give as well. So I'm just trying to find ways where we can really step it up and uh, hook you guys up a lot more. As I said, if, if there's a bunch of people sending like 20, 30 bucks, um, even the, the people sending the 20 or, or 30 bucks are still eligible to win like that five or 600 bucks. And so it, it, it might be something worthwhile. It might be something we should think about, talk about even more. Um, as I said, I appreciate all the donations that you guys do for me. I really do. But I'm really in a huge mood to really give back to you guys. And to be able to give back more like that would be absolutely awesome. As I said, take a bunch of the, the smaller donations and just uh, add them together to give back to you guys. That would be phenomenal. So yeah, that was one of my ideas. I hope I made sense discussing it. I really do. Temperature, 28 degrees. I'll give you a, a, a longer look here at the map. Okay. I mean, I'm so, so unbelievably grateful that I was able to do that for you guys. And do you guys have any idea how hard it was to keep from you guys that I was going to give away a third $50 gift card? I, I, it, <laughs> I felt so good for being able to do that for you guys. I really want to do that a lot more. A lot more would be great. So, yeah, as I said, and any anything that I have left over each month, my wife probably will hate me for this because, you know, she, she probably wants me to buy her more stuff too. But anything that I have left over each month, I would love to try to contribute to you guys when I have anything left over. You guys are so deserving. I mean, it's there's no question about it. And giving is the only way to truly, truly live a great life, I believe. It's almost a selfish feeling because it feels so good doing it. It's like, it's like a drug. <laughs> you know, you do it more and more because it just feels so good. But look at how white the road's getting, guys. And then it turns brown again right when I said that. Oh, it's beautiful up here. As I said, funny enough, even up to an hour ago, it was showing no snow at all. So I was gonna call it a night but when I turned off the lights outside and inside, it, it, it was just looking really gloomy outside. And I was like, gosh, it looks like something's gonna happen. And then my wife looked at her phone and it said snow flurries right now. So I jumped out of bed in a freaking heart in an instant and got into my car and here I am. This is what I do. This is what I do for my people because I love you. And when we get the other car back, we're going to go through Moonloaf for the first time this season. I'm excited. Moonloaf, for those of you who keep on hearing me talk about it but don't know what it is, Moonloaf is a connection between Sugarloaf and Moonridge. Way up at the top here of Upper Moonridge, it connects you with um, the end of Sugarloaf. And you, you know, if you have the right vehicle, you can avoid all the traffic on the boulevard. I mean, you want to talk about a back street? This is like the back, back street. It's really great and it's really fun. Oh, 
it's gorgeous up here. Temperature's still 28 degrees, 9.50 p.m. Once again, this is where we're at in accordance to the lake. So these flurries, as it said hours ago, are supposed to continue through about 11, maybe a little later. But as I said, it really didn't look like we were gonna get anything. I even looked at the radar 25 minutes ago, right before I got into bed, 25 minutes ago, and there was nothing in the area. I mean, absolutely nothing, but when I looked outside, it just looked really gloomy. And this is what we got. So congratulations to me, because I love the snow. So this is great. Happy for everyone else too. Unfortunately, it's, it's not gonna be anything of significance. It's gonna be just meager as can be. But it's something, right? It's something. Well, we could, what street was that? I could have turned left. You know what? That's what we are going to do. If there's no one behind us, this is probably not the wisest move, but we're going to do it. I think. Or are we? No, this isn't too smart, Nick. We're just going to go straight. Forget it. Not too smart. I was going to back up to that street because there's no one up here right now. It is dead up here. Right, so we're back on Mira. You know what? Let's, yeah, let's go back down and then, uh, or we're going to turn left here instead of go back down Butte. We're going to turn left here and then hopefully come up to Sheephorn and take Sheephorn down on the other side. It'll still drop us off eventually on Moon Ridge Road. As a matter of fact, I think maybe Sheephorn turns into Butte at one point. We are still on Butte, as it says right there. Let's see, okay, this is sheep horn, so we're gonna make a left. At least I think this is where we want to go. Do we, do we want to go left here? And you know what? I, I'm not sure, but we're going to go left here just, just, just in case, just to see. It's taking us up higher. So that's not, well, this is a different part of sheep horn. So that's cool. I'm excited to take this. We haven't taken this in a long time these awesomely big houses here. take Luna we're back on Villa Grove 
have no idea where we're at, guys. So we're just driving around Upper Moon Ridge like fools, but that's okay. At least we're coming into more snow, so that's good. Seven degrees now. Okay, this is what street is that? Wolf. Oh, I know where we're at. Jeez, I need to turn around. <laughs> or no, I have a, another way that we can get down. So the next left, we're gonna cut through. We're just gonna do it all. We're just gonna do it all up here. Excited about that. I need a vacation just I need a vacation just to go somewhere by myself would be great is this a street looks a little scary but we're gonna try yeah that's a street I had a buddy who used to live in that little house right there okay I think I know where we're at but I gotta be careful because we could slide out on this right here so this is Minton and then I forgot what the name of this street is. South Minton Avenue. I don't know why I keep on saying I'm, I'm forgetting the name of the streets because it shows right there. But yeah, guys, the snow's coming down pretty good right now. Town is extremely quiet at the moment. Have you even noticed one car? I haven't even noticed one car. Once again, you guys, thank you again for watching the channel. Thank you for caring a lot about me and about what I'm trying to do up here. If you do enjoy this, please hit the like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell, um, share it with anybody that you think might find this really pretty, really beautiful. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Muchos mahalos, brah. This should be Villa Grove again, but a much lower. Yeah, this is like the lower section of Villa Grove. Okay, cool. I know where we're at now. We really did the whole freaking Moon Ridge tour for the most part. We really haven't done that in a long time. here instead of go through that dead end like I always do this can get a little treacherous as well we are back well we're still on Villa Grove it's amazing how Villa Grove kind of has two different sections in Upper Moon Ridge this is where we're at This street, again, Silvertip, can be kind of rough. 
in these conditions. This person in front of us looks like they don't drive these types of roads much because they slammed on their brakes right there. Not a good thing to do on these hills, guys. You gotta be super careful. You wanna kinda like tap, tap, tap your brakes very, very lightly. Sunset. We're going to take Sunset until we can't take Sunset anymore. We're still in Moon Ridge. We're about entering mid Moon Ridge. But I think since we're not going to get any snow for a while, we'll do a village trek. Especially since there's going to be no one up here right now, that village is going to be so pretty, you guys. Just gorgeous with all the lights and some snow falling. Hopefully it's snowing over there. I'm sure it is. But we certainly will find out, won't we? Takes you out on silver tip again. And this is gonna take us right here to Moon Ridge Road. Boom, we're at Moon Ridge Road and we're gonna head up over by the ski resort. Let's take a look over here, see what's going on. Not much, not many cars at all. 28 degrees, 10.03 p.m. Location. Turn that down a little bit so we can see the road a little better. It's really bright inside the car. Some good snow over here for sure. Wow, it's coming down, guys. So now we're on Goldmine Street, okay? This is Goldmine. Moon Ridge turns into Goldmine on this end. And here's the ski resort to the left. Good job all you snow groomers and snow makers. You guys are making this place so wonderful for the tourists and the locals, of course. All right. If you make a left here where it says Bear Mountain and turn left, keep on going straight to the top. That is a free sledding area. 
I will give you guys a, uh, I'll do a video for you guys to show you guys how to get to a few different sledding areas in the next couple of weeks, I promise. And I'm gonna create a playlist specifically for that. It's just gonna be one video in the playlist, but just so, you know, years from now, people can easily find it. As you can see, the roads are completely white now. There's not much snow, but it's cold enough to where it's just sticking immediately. So that's good. It just makes everything look so much prettier when everything's just, uh, everything's white. It's so, so pretty. Here's our beautiful golf course. I mean, look at this. There's nobody on the roads, you guys. This is absolutely incredible. Wait till you see Big Bear Boulevard. You guys are going to be shocked. Absolutely shocked. Wow, there's a car on Moonridge. I can't believe it. We gotta turn off our brights. Not that we need them through here, but it still helps to illuminate the snowflakes a little better. So here we go. I said we're going to do a quick drive to the village. It'll take us no time to get there because of just everyone being gone. I love you guys so much. I don't know what I would do without you guys. I really don't. You guys give me purpose and you guys give me a reason to want to be here. I'm talking to live. You guys give me hope. Thank you. snow here on the boulevard falling from the sky we're enjoying that for sure and I'm so sorry that this storm hit this little baby storm hit right after everyone left there were so many people who left comments who were so disappointed that they had to leave earlier today knowing that we were gonna get a little something tonight even a couple snowflakes makes people really happy so I'm I'm disappointed for you guys. I am I am sorry. I swear it sounds like there's a mouse in the back of my car. Have you ever 
hear something squeaky. It's, it's not the windshield wipers. Yes, it is. Never mind. <laughs> If you guys go into this 7-Eleven, say hello to Artie. Artie is a, he's my friend's dad. Just a cool dude. His name is Artie. As I said, A-R-T-I-E. What a nice, nice, nice guy. to see this many cars on the boulevard but a lot more than I expected but now after this car we're it's just it's open open game open season for us guys look at this guys incredible there's not one other car This is what a small town should feel like. This is absolutely amazing. Well, there's a car right there. There's two cars. There's three cars. But this is the small town feel right now. drive as well, come back out on Edgemore and then come through the village. This is where we're at in accordance to the lake. And uh, yeah, guys, seriously, thank you guys again for your support. You guys are unfreaking believable. The comments, I've, I just never imagined I would get any comments like this or just any comments ever. So thank you guys for showing me so much love and support. I'm always gonna be here for you guys. Any questions that I can answer for you guys, I will always do my best, I promise you that. I will never let you guys down. I'll, I'll you know, I do this to the best of my ability. Um, I'm seeing that my passion is rubbing off onto a lot of people, so that, that makes me, that, that truly makes me happy. As I said, you guys give me purpose in life. Someday I'll be able to quit my other full-time job, hopefully in, in maybe three or four years, and live off of this channel. I mean, I don't need a lot to live up here, you guys. I really don't. So that's why it's a bit of a struggle uh, living up here because it's, it's hard to make a decent living up here. said who knows maybe this channel can, can eventually set me free and and allow me to do a lot of things that I wanted to do which is open up like a small hotel up here for you guys and basically make it so you guys always get first priority it'll be like a private club type of a thing that people who can prove that they are friends of the channel will get first choice to uh, to stay the hotel when we have snowstorms because it's really hard to find any lodging when it's snowing up here guys
in Lakeview. <clears throat> I believe, yeah, we're still in Lakeview, and we're going to take this, as I said, till we get to Edgemore. We have a, uh, a marina over there. I don't know why I always forget the name of it, but it's one of the, the biggest, most popular marinas in town. Or no, it's actually right up here on the right. I think it's called Holloway's. Holloway's Marina. Every time I think of Holloway's Marina, the name Natalie Holloway always pops into my head. When I, uh, I went to Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao, and we were partying at Carlos and Charlie's in Aruba, which, if anyone knows the story about Natalie Holloway, I don't know, 20 years ago or something like that, um, she was abducted by, like, Jan Vandersloot, or whatever his name was, and, they, and murdered. And the last time she was seen was at that Carlos and Charlie's. And it was literally, guys, literally about three or four days after we left Aruba. And it was all over the news, worldwide news. Joran Vandersloot, that was his name, Joran Vandersloot. And it, that just always freaked me out, knowing that, like, that happened to some total innocent person. And I was there. Like, we were probably there at the same time, too, because, you know... I'm sure she had been there a few days prior also. And Aruba's a tiny, tiny island. We were there for, um, gosh. My friend's family took me. My friend Jordan Groves from Redlands. And uh, it was a wonderful time. You know what, we're gonna go to the village, but look at look at Big Bear Boulevard. There's like no one on on the boulevard. We're going to turn down one of these streets down here and take the back way behind this part of Big Bear Boulevard on the other side of the street to get to the village. I think we can do that right here. I think we can do this. trespassing signs you guys I was thinking what you were thinking hey sledding hey sledding anyways if you guys are enjoying what I'm doing please don't forget to hit like and subscribe help me out here as much as you can I would appreciate it as I said I really want to do what I can to to give you guys more a lot more and look here here's a hill this looks like a good place for sledding I don't see any no trespassing signs either. I don't see any no trespassing signs. So we're gonna have to look into this place when I do that that sledding drive. Or actually, I'll 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 do my my recruitment drive first. What does this say? Road closed to through traffic. What? Why is that? Oh, that's two N ten. Okay, I get it. That's one of the off roads. That, that takes you behind Snow Summit. 
way up high at elevation. It's, it's great. Here is the Aspen Glen picnic area. You know what, we're just gonna pull into, oh wait, no we're not. Yeah, we are, we're gonna pull into the parking lot real, real quickly, I think. Hopefully we don't bottom out right here. But this is a place where a lot of you like to come sledding and have picnics and Wow, this road is a mess. Look at this. Look at these thick chunks of ice. It's impossible. Hard to get through here. But here's some sledding hills right here. Aspen Glen, folks. Aspen Glen. We're definitely going to pick this place as one of the places to go sledding for you guys. As I said, I want you guys to come up here and have a great time. For my season, I worked at Bear Mountain. This is where they they brought us to uh, at the end of the season to thank us for all the hard work. You know what? I don't think we're gonna make it right here. Just bear with me a sec. We might have to turn around. I'm okay with that. So we don't have to deal with this crazy, crazy road. Go back to that stuff we just went through. I don't want to bottom out, guys. I really don't. That doesn't sound like fun today. But yeah, a bunch of sledding areas here for sure. Bunch. It's a big, big picnic area, guys. But yeah, as I said, Bear Mountain and Snow Summit, it was Mammoth Mountain that owned these resorts at the time. And this is where we went and celebrated, for, celebrated the employees, all of us for working there and having a great season. And it was a lot of fun. Spent time with the general managers of the mountains and stuff like that. Just super cool, guys. All right, we gotta be careful here. It's, this is deep. This is deep. Ugh, ugh. Well, I know you guys can't really see over here, but it's there's some good hills right there. Some great hills. Okay. And here we go. This is not gonna be easy, but we're gonna go so slow right here. Oh, the snow is really coming down here. Oh yeah, we made it. Cool. Now we're on a street called Mill Creek, you guys. And we're just gonna take this until we hit Big Bear Boulevard. It's not too much further ahead. Boulevard. Let's see if there's anybody coming this way. Nope. Just so peaceful, you guys. Anybody coming this way? Nope. Here's a paid place to go sledding, guys. It's called the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. I don't recall what they charge, but it's worth it because you don't have to get tired hiking up the hill every single time you're done sledding. There's um, an automatic walkway or an electric walkway that pulls you up to the top.
It really is such a beautiful sight through here. We're gonna kind of just pull over for a second. Let this car ahead of us go ahead. So we don't have any cars in the picture driving through the village. I think it'll be that much more perfect for you guys. Oh boy, oh boy. It's good to see you guys. Seriously, I'm so happy I was able to do that for you guys today. It feels good. It feels good to give back to you guys. Last year, I did three, three lift tickets. It's like $120 value. But my, my friend who works at the mountain gave them to me for free. So I gave them to you guys for free. Super cool, man. Super cool. But I'm excited and prepared to spend money on you guys. You guys are my family. It feels good. It feels great, actually. There's the club. But we want to focus on this beauty right here. Look at how nice that hotel looks at night, too. Everything up here looks so beautiful. I mean, look at this. I'm assuming all these people are going, to, these cars are for people at the bars right now. Rest of the village, yo. Sorry about that. I didn't have the camera on for some darn reason. But anyway, we are on Pennsylvania Avenue taking the back road from the village. You can see all the village lights way out there. And now you can. But we're on Pennsylvania Avenue taking the back streets for you guys, even though there's nobody on the boulevard. Because it's snowing really good. And even though there's no one on the boulevard, I wanted you guys to get the sights of just just the look of the back streets right now. Keep my brights on the whole entire time. Just makes everything so much prettier. You can see the snow falling better with my brights on. See how much snow is falling. favorite map this is the one we use all the time this street you guys is called I think this is Jeffries I think it's Jeffries yes it's Jeffries and it's 10 31 p.m. 28 degrees we're gonna turn right here on Oak oh, it's coming down guys yeah Hope you guys are enjoying the cruise with me. I love having you guys with me. Every time I hit the record button, it feels like you guys are right here with me. It's a great, great feeling. Wow. Okay, we're gonna turn left here, right before it says, no, not a through street. This is Eureka. 
Everyone's enjoying the snow. Awesome, awesome. That's why I like to see people out here enjoying the snowfall. They're the few lucky ones who extended their vacation. Because most of you who were up here took off already, sadly. And this is Wren, W-R-E-N. We're gonna turn right on Wren. Look at the snow coming down outside the window. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then the next street we're going to turn right on is Brownie. Look at how beautiful this is when everything's white like this. It's just gorgeous. All right, we're gonna turn right here. This is Thrush. We're gonna go up to Snow Summit on the way home. No one coming up Thrush. There's Big Bear Boulevard where all the lights are right there. But we're gonna head up here to Summit. Yeah. Some really nice houses over here as well, right next to Snow Summit. You can imagine what these Airbnbs go for, right? Jeez, can't imagine. No ski resort access. Well, you're lying because here I am. Okay, here we are. We are in the parking lot. This is the exit only, but it's way after hours, so we're not gonna be disturbing anything or anybody. through that's what we will do for sure if we can get through there wow they aren't even making snow right now I don't get it it doesn't make any sense to me we're gonna follow these people it's really coming down guys this is great I said there's really nothing, nothing going on here. Oh, look at how much snow is falling. Unreal, guys, it's so gorgeous. So this is the main building where you buy your tickets, as I point out all the time. And straight ahead is, uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's a part of the resort, but we'll, we'll get a better view over here. and face a little bit see what kind of stuff we can get on the headlights this is beautiful 
That's that for this place. Just look at all the snow in the light poles in, or in those lights up there. Oh, it's just mesmerizing. You gotta love that, guys. You gotta love it. turn down evergreen up here which is this next street coming up here you can't see it on here but it is coming up here we go here's evergreen getting some of the big snowflakes right now this is this is what I love so much I love the big huge snowflakes I want to go over to Stanfield cutoff real quickly guys we're really we're kind of doing like almost the complete Big Bear Lake tour but not we've done most of Big Bear Lake but look at how big these snowflakes are look at that Awesome. Welcome to Big Bear, folks. Welcome to Big Bear. bed and breakfast. I think that's going to look really, really, really pretty with the snow falling. Now we're back on Moon Ridge Road. As I said, we're going to go to the Stanfield Cutoff to see what it looks like over the lake. I wish Snow Summit had their lights on tonight because it would give us that much prettier of a view. Look at these big snowflakes. Wow.
will help make it so it doesn't squeak as much. Man, it's really dumping right now, man. See, I knew the heat would help us out here. See much, can you? We're going into fawn skin. Looks pretty scary that direction, doesn't it? All right, so we are on North Shore right now. No way. My freaking, wow. No way. I, f I found this app and uh, no way. So there's issues over by Lake Arrowhead or I think on, on the way to Lake Arrowhead. This is the app that I downloaded. It's kind of like the Caltrans app, but it's free. I don't know what that's telling us, but I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It says C-A-R-R. -R. When I tell you guys to download the, uh, the Caltrans app or call 1-800-CALTRANS, that's what I'm looking at to get all the information. That app right there. So here we go, turning down Division Road. 
and then hopefully when we get back into Big Bear Lake area, it'll be a lot heavier snow again. Here's our uh, dash cam. And here's the airport. So we've driven by one of the snow play areas. Man, my windshield is horrible right now. And I'm gonna show you guys another snow play area. It's here on the left hand side, right next to this Motel 6. I don't think, oh, it, the building's lit up. So this is where you would go. It's a paid place, it's called Big Bear Snow Play. Look at that. And they make snow there as well. Very cool, very cool. Stamfield cut off, the snow will start coming down heavier. It's interesting how that works, but you'll see. It's starting to come down heavier and heavier now, but once we cross this uh, next stoplight, you'll, you'll see. It should be coming down pretty darn good on the other side. washer fluid my friend who owns the mechanic shop up here like I don't know why he didn't give me the windshield washer fluid which is for the winter time kind of blows my mind but it is what it is he knows how much I drive in these conditions I need it because I'm, I'm out here all the time in these conditions finish our tour right now. You guys, thank you again for everything. I appreciate the love and support. I wish you all very well. If you enjoyed taking this tour with me, please hit like, subscribe. It really does help me. It really does. That's what everyone says. So please do that for me. It takes a second. Please help me out like that. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. If you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to get back to me, okay? Peace out, everybody. I love you all tremendously. It is now still February 5th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. Peace.